All right, so let's talk about elements and hierarchy. All right, so what do you mean by elements? Now, elements are basically anything that you draw on a page, okay? Uh, visual elements like a button or an input element where you can type your email or password. So elements basically just come together and create the whole UI. So if I had to describe this uh, this page itself, okay, this is a button here, this is an image here, this is a little text here, this is a button here, all these are elements, okay? So in bubble land, we call it elements, okay? Now, the elements are sort of nested in a tree Okay, and we can see our whole structure as like, okay, we have a parent and group, it has its own structure. Okay, kind of, it has a nice visual indicator. The elements tree kind of describes where everything is in your page. Okay, so if we had to kind of visualize the tree, we start with the page at the top level and then we have pop-ups like things, the modals that show up, or we have groups and groups can have groups within them and a group can have an individual element like a button or a text, okay? So now visual elements, these are used to uh, display information, okay? Uh, text, button, icon, link, image, shape, alert. These are just more kind of, the purpose of visual elements is more to display information, not take information from a client or from a user. Now, input elements on the other hand, uh, are designed to allow users to input information like an input, a multi-line input, a checkbox that I can check, a drop down where I can select something. These are kind of more, uh, there's just as structurally, they work subtly differently. So input is like, I can type stuff, I can pick a date, I can search something, visual elements, image, like, of course I can click an image and do stuff, uh, buttons I can click and interact with them, but you don't type information into a button. It's different kind of structural, different thing. Now, Input elements, uh, of course, have like just different types of properties compared to just visual elements. So you, you can have like a placeholder uh, value, some initial content, just lots of different types of kind of knobs in an input element. And there's more uh, detail. Uh, for example, in workflows, we can refer to input elements. So for example, if we have an input element where we say email and somebody's typing an email, uh, it's, uh, we can refer to that inputs email in a workflow in our logic. Okay. So the, when, so if I have, a, I have a sign up workflow, I can refer to the email input element. So when the sign up button is clicked, refer to the input email element, uh, input element. All right. So it, it'll get clearer in a live demo. So let's see where are we in the, let, let me just remove this one. So in here we see on the left, we have all our visual elements we have our containers and then we have our input elements. Okay, containers we'll get to in a separate video. Okay, so if I had uh, a text element here, email, all right. Now note, this is just a text element. I can't type anything here. Okay, now I'll need an actual input element. Okay, so okay. Uh, so that at example.com. Okay, that's just the placeholder. Okay, it's not the actual info. Now, if I add another text element, this is just a visual one, password. Okay, and if I add another input here, okay, just password. Uh, password, I can change the type of input to password. And then I need a button. Okay, so different types of elements come together to form the overall UI. Uh, visual elements input elements and uh, buttons, okay? Now, if I uh, I can refer to these input elements afterwards in my logic later on, okay? So if I start the workflow, I can refer to the input element, input, input B. So if I name them correctly, input email, input, password. Okay. So I can refer to input elements in my logic later on that I want input emails value here. I want input passwords value here. All right. Uh, different properties. So if I open a visual element text, I have different types of like, I can change the appearance. Uh, I can do many things here. If I have the input type element, I can change different things. What's the initial content preload it with something. What's the placeholder like 
okay uh what's the what happens on enter key should it be prevented is this is this input not empty lots of different things lots of different information okay so uh thank you very much of, we're gonna go more deep uh but this is just a, like a quick kind of overview at the top and then we're gonna go next deep uh, over time all right thank you very much and see you in the next video